everyone you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is a plus 6 to the power of 4 plus a plus 4 to the power of 4 this is equal to 82 so what is the value of a given that a is a member of real numbers now let's provide a solution from here now we have that 6 this is the same thing as 5 plus 1. And we have that 4. This is the same thing as 5 subtract 1. So we can substitute where we have 6 with 5 plus 1. And we can substitute 4 with 5 minus 1. So that we have a plus 5 plus 1 raised to the power of 4. Then plus, here we have a plus 5 minus 1 to the power of 4. This is equal to the next step is that we can let u be equal to a plus 5. So let's substitute where we have a plus 5 with u so that we have here. This is the same thing as u plus 1 raised to the power of 4. Then plus here we have u minus 1 raised to the power of 4. This is equal to 82. Now, we can express u plus 1 to the power of 4 as u plus 1 raised to the power of 2 times 2, then plus u minus 1 to the power of 2 times 2. This is equal to 82. Now, u plus 1 to the power of 2 times 2 and u minus 1 to the power of 2 times 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n times m, which we can express as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. So we have u plus 1 raised to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 2, then plus here we have u subtract 1 squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 82. Now, the next step is that u plus 1 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b to the power of 2 which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have u squared plus 2u plus 1, everything here, raised to the power of 2, then plus, here we have u minus 1 to the power of 2, we can express this as u squared plus this is 1, then subtract 2u, everything here, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 82. Now this implies that here, we have u squared plus 1, then plus 2u, everything here, raised to the power of 2, then plus, here we can express this as u squared plus 1, minus 2u, everything here, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 82. The next step is that we can let u squared plus 1 be equal to m, and we can let 2u be equal to n. Now let's substitute u squared plus 1 with m, and 2u with n, so that now here we have m plus n squared plus m minus n squared, this is equal to 82. So this is the same thing, m plus n to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b, raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And m minus n to the power of 2, this is in the form of a minus b, raised to the power of 2, this is the same thing as a squared plus b squared subtract 2ab. So let's apply these two algebraic identities. So we have m squared plus n squared plus 2mn, then we have plus m squared plus n squared subtract 2mn, this is equal to 80. 
2. Now, we have that plus 2mn minus 2mn, this simplifies, so that now m squared plus m squared, this is 2m squared, then plus n squared plus n squared, this is 2n squared, this is equal to 82. So 2 is common here, so we can factor out 2, so that here we have m squared plus n squared, this is equal to 82. 82 is the same thing as 2 multiplying by 41. So we find that 2 and 2 here simplifies, so that we have m squared plus n squared, this is equal to 41. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have that m is equal to u squared plus 1. So we have u squared plus 1. Everything here raised to the power of 2. Then plus n squared. Remember n is equal to 2u. So let's substitute 2u raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 41. Now this implies we have u squared plus 1 to the power of 2. This is the same thing as u squared raised to the power of 2. Then plus, here we have 2 u squared, then plus 1, then plus, here we have 2 u to the power of 2. This is 2 squared, which is 4, then u squared. This is equal to 41. Now let's take 41 on the left hand side, so that we have u squared raised to the power of 2. Then plus, here we have 2u squared plus 4u squared. This is 6u squared. Then plus 1 minus 41. This is equal to 0. So we have u squared raised to the power of 2. Then plus 6u squared. Then subtract 40. This is equal to 0. Now, the next step is that we can let u squared b equal to we can we can let this to be equal to x now we let u squared be equal to x let's substitute x here so we have x squared plus 6x subtract 40 this is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation that we can solve by factorization method we have the product here equal to minus 40 we have the sum is equal to 6. So we identify two factors. If we multiply those two factors, we have, we get minus 40. If we sum those two factors, we are able to get a value of 6. So this means that we have 10 and minus 4. So that we have 10 times minus 4. This is minus 40. 10 plus minus 4, this is 6. So let's substitute this. We have x squared plus 10x minus 4x minus 40. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part here, x is common. So we can factor out x so that we have x plus 10. Subtract. On the second part here, we have 4 is common. So we have 4. Into the parentheses, we have x plus 10 this is equal to 0 x plus 10 is common here so we have x plus 10 and then we have x minus 4 this is equal to 0 we have two parts here we have that x plus 10 this is equal to 0 and we have that x minus 4 this is equal to 0 we have that x1 is equal to minus 10 and we have that x2 here, this is equal to 4. Now, we have that x1 is equal to minus 10. Now, if you recall, we have that a should be a member of real numbers. So we have that x1 equal to minus 10. This will not give us a real solution. So x1 equal to minus 10. This is rejected. So this is rejected. So let's focus on x2, which is equal to 4. So we have that x2 is equal to 4. 
Now, if you recall, we have seen that let u square be equal to x. So we have u squared, this is equal to 4. To solve for u, we introduce square root on both sides so that you have square root of u squared. This is equal to plus or minus square root of 4. So let's eliminate the square root sign here so that we have that u. This is equal to plus or minus square root of 4, which is 2. Now we have that u is equal to plus or minus 2. That means that we have u1 is equal to 2 or u2 is equal to minus 2. Now if you recall, if you recall, we have seen that let u be equal to a plus 5. We have that let u be equal to a plus 5. So this means that we can start with u1 which is 2 and therefore a plus 5 this is equal to 2. So we can solve for a1. Let's take plus 5 on the right, right hand side. So this is equal to 2 minus 5. So we have that a1 is equal to minus 3. Now given that u2 is minus 2, we can substitute this. We have minus 2, this is equal to a plus 5. So let's take 5 on the left hand side so that we have minus 2 minus 5. This is equal to a2. So that now a2 is equal to minus 7. So we have a1 is equal to minus 3. And we have that a2 is equal to minus 7. So the next step is to verify. So let's verify that these two values of a satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, if you recall, we have that a plus 6 raised to the power of 4, then plus a plus 4 raised to the power of 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 82. Now we have a1, this is minus 3, plus 6 raised to the power of 4, then plus, here we have minus 3 plus 4 raised to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 82. So minus 3 plus 6, this is 3, raised to the power of 4, then plus, minus 3 plus 4, this is 1, raised to the power of 4, this should give us a value of 82. So 3 to the power of 4, this is 81, then plus 1 to the power of 4, this is 1, this is supposed to give us a value of 82. So 81 plus 1, this is 82, which is equal to 82. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And that shows that A1 satisfies the equation. Let's proceed to A2, which is minus 7. Now let's verify A2, which is minus 7. So we have minus 7 plus 6 raised to the power of 4, then plus minus 7 plus 4 raised to the power of 4, this should give us a value of 82. So minus 7 plus 6, this is minus 1 raised to the power of 4, then plus here we have minus 7 plus 4, this is equal to minus 3 raised to the power of 4, this should give us a value of 82. So minus 1 to the power of 4, this is 1, then plus Minus 3 to the power of 4, this is 81, and this should give us a value of 82. So 1 plus 81, this is 82, which is equal to 82. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that A2 also satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.